Hey, what's going on YouTube? Wow, uh, so I started training for the Peachtree Road Race lately. I will be running on July 3rd for the two day event. And so it's been my first week of training. I'm not injured so far, knock on wood. It's been my first week. And one of the things that I've noticed is that, I don't know, I, I think I just want softer shoes to run in. Right now it's April and I'm running uh, more base miles, get the miles underneath my feet, time on feet. And I think I've recognized that 45 minutes plus, I just want something a little bit more softer. So um, if you don't know me, one of the things I enjoy finding are deals on shoes. Um, I'm not cheap in any way. I do spend money on good shoes, running shoes to be healthy and comfortable in. But it's always kind of a fun way uh, if I could find great deals. Well, it came in today. I ordered this, so let's take a look. I guess this is an unboxing video. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, let's go. All right, here's the box. There we go. So I saw some, um, so I found these on sale, and they came out last year. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. There's my size. Nike React Miler, $130, but I found it online for $80 on the Nike website. So here we go. This is always the best part. Woo! Now, I got this because it's full React foam, and from the reviews that I've read, um, likely a better option than the Pegasus. I was looking at the Pegasus too, those were on sale. Um, but these look nice. Now, I will say the styling is a bit, uh, as the video reviews on YouTube have said, it's a bit rawish, a little Marshalls, but surely this can't be really a more lower budget shoe from Nike if they're giving this $130 at retail. Um, I think a lot of it is because it's full React foam, but um, for anyone that's familiar with the Nike React foam shoes lately, looks very similar, but I believe it's their attempt to make this, I guess, in my opinion, like a Hoka-like shoe, like their attempt at their own Hoka shoe. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about that. But So I haven't ran in these before, but I will give you guys my full review in a little bit. But, I mean, it's a really nice shoe. Look at the, the rubber. It's different, but this is all full React. So unlike the Pegasus where it has the zoom, bag in the forefoot it's full react and for anyone that has walked in or ran in react it's soft but responsive but yeah I mean, it's this this is pretty nice uh, the whole plan would be to use this for my daily runs but more importantly my long runs i've been reading a lot and watching on youtube that this is a go-to shoe for that but yeah some have said online that this is a stability shoe. I'm not sure if I agree. There's this uh, part on the medial side, but it doesn't, I'm not really sure. It feels like a different material, but I don't think it would be enough to actually provide a stability piece on the medial side. So on the medial side, this is where your foot would pronate or rotate in, but I don't know if it'll do that, but I'll have to find out. And you can see how wide it is. So this is what I found in newer, newer runner shoes now lately is, the foam is wider than the forefoot upper. So that gives you a lot more stability side to side. So yeah, pretty excited, pretty excited. But yes, I will put out a full review soon. Probably running about, I don't know, 50 miles, 100 miles. See like the other YouTubers do. Give you guys a review. I will be training with this for my Peachtree road race training anyways. So I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. Myler React. Yeah, super excited. All right, so there you have it. This is gonna be my new training shoe for the Peachtree training. Uh, I tried it on my feet. It definitely has this rocker geometry so you feel the foot or the shoe really wanting to help you rock forward with your walking gait. And I will say um, compared to the Boost Foam Ultra Boost 20, it is, uh, it's softer, it's softer. It's still firm. I don't think it's as soft as the Infinity Runs that I have tried in the past. And one of the things that is true what the other YouTubers are saying, 
this is a pretty wide forefoot, but I actually enjoy that. Um, especially if this is supposed to be more for your longer miles, as your feet gets tired and your feet starting to splay out, you're gonna enjoy all that room. And another reason why I probably didn't wanna get the Pegasus and I've heard really good things is when I've tried older Pegasus or at least the newer Pegasus in the past, I didn't really quite like how narrow it was. Um, and I just never ran in it, so I will give you that caveat. But um, I oftentimes, and I even uh, give this recommendation to my patients is, go off the first feel of how it feels. And it feels, even if it feels a little uncomfortable, still search and see if you could find something else that off first feel you really fall in love with. So uh, this React Foam, I've never had a React Foam shoe, but I could already tell like I'm already gonna like it. And as I start really running onto it, um, I think the, the this is the right amount of softness. I have a feeling there are shoes out there that are even softer than this. Haven't tried it myself, but according to the YouTube reviews, things, uh, shoes like the Asics uh, Flight Foam, is it the Asics, um, the name escapes me. Um, anyways, the new uh, Asics with the Flight Foam, uh, the Nova Blast, duh. The Asics Nova Blast with the Flight Foam, I have a feeling that would be much, much softer. But again, I couldn't quite find a deal on it. I'm sure I'll probably try it on uh, one day soon. But for now, in a pinch with July coming up, before you know it, uh, I wanted to try these shoes. And you know, at $80, it's a pretty good deal. Um, rack on the miles, and then once it reaches the limit, uh, I'll go on and try a new one as I keep kind of cycle through shoes. As uh, if you guys remember from my older videos, I'm still running in the uh, Reebok uh, float rides, which are good, but I'm starting to finish out those miles and the cushioning is starting to deaden a little bit after the 40, 45 minute mark. So as that's nearing its end, um, and this will start warming up in terms of its optimal mileage, um, that's kind of how I'm doing is staggering this shoe is about to go, get onto the new one, and then so on and so forth, and repeat. So yeah, this is gonna be my new daily and hopefully long run. I will do a full review, um, I guess, what, after probably 50 miles? So I'll probably get to that in a few weeks and let you guys know how this goes. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the uh, the pickup. Is it a good deal? Is it not? Um, have you ran in it before? Any tips in terms of what how you like to use the shoe? Please, I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.